Hi guys, and welcome back to another show of Keto in the Kitchen with Jasmine. Today we're going to be making Greek salad pita with hummus. And this is a recipe that I've enjoyed as a little girl. There are several reasons why I'm very excited to be making this recipe with you guys today. The first reason is because I was raised primarily as a vegetarian, eating a lot of vegetables. And so this is very delicious and also extremely nutritious for a diabetic. The second reason is because I love Greek salad and I love hummus. And that is why I'm eager to share this recipe with you guys today. Yum. In addition to that, it tastes really good. And also because I have a really fond memory of my mother and I in the kitchen in Ann Arbor, Michigan, when I was growing up, when we were making hummus from dried beans in a pressure cooker, and it always tasted so delicious. And I tried to copy the recipe. I don't really remember it, but it was really good. So I came up with my own, um, inspired by two other different uh, recipes. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that there's a reason I'm using spinach instead of romaine lettuce today. And the reason for that is, is because as a diabetic, um, experts will tell you that a diabetic should eat a lot of spinach or dark leafy greens because it's good for the liver. It cleanses the liver. And part of being a diabetic is having a fatty liver. So even if you don't drink alcohol, um, it goes around, it goes along with diabetes. So spinach is excellent for your liver. So first things first, last night in my crock pot on high, I made garbanzo beans. I used up a whole container, a whole jar of that. I cooked that on high for a few hours. And when it was done, I put it in a container in the fridge. Um, so my garbanzo beans are ready to go. And I'm going to add about a cup and a half of garbanzo beans. And just so you guys know, garbanzo beans and chickpeas are the same thing. Same name, same, or different name, same thing. Since I've decided that tomorrow I'm going to be making hummus, what I'm doing right now is I'm going to cook the chickpeas in my crock pot. And so what I did is I filled the crock pot to the top with water and I'm going to cook it on high until I go to bed and then I'm going to turn it down to low and let it cook all night. Another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a teaspoonful of baking soda to the water. The reason for this is, is that it reduces and or eliminates gas that you may have from eating hummus and it also makes the shells easier to come off of the chickpeas. One teaspoonful of baking soda, and I'm going to set it aside and let it cook overnight. And remember, before I go to bed, I'm turning it down to low. So I don't actually have to cook these overnight because they are done. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to contain these in a jar or some other kind of storage capacity. And then I'll show you how I make my hummus tomorrow. The second thing we're going to be adding is one cup of tahini. What tahini is, is actually sesame seeds ground up fine with oil, and it's super delicious. Now, a lot of recipes call for less tahini than what I'm making, but I'm going to add more because I like a creamier texture and I like it to taste a little bit uh, more nutty. Next, we're gonna add one quarter cup of lemon juice. And we're going to be blending all of this in the food processor. The other day I made roasted garlic for a recipe I was making. So I have leftover roasted garlic and I don't like to waste anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that to the hummus. So about three cloves of roasted garlic. 
We're going to add about one half teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt because experts say it's better for you than regular salt, but I also like sea salt. I think it's pretty good as well. And you can use any kind of salt you want. I'm just using private selection, but it's really your choice. Next, I'm going to add one half teaspoon of cumin because it gives it a little bit of a smoky flavor, and I like that. And then one quarter cup of olive oil. Next, I'm going to blend all the ingredients in my food processor. I'll show you what that looks like now. And this is what it looks like blended up, and I'm going to taste it just to make sure it's the right consistency and flavor. It's good, but I think it needs a little bit more lemon juice and maybe just a little bit more salt. I wanted to mention here that you can take the rest of the leftover garbanzo beans because you're probably going to have some if you use as many beans as I do. The reason I made so much is because I can add this to salads and all sorts of other dishes. So I made a lot in a container. I'm storing it, but you can also freeze some of it or even all of it so that when you want to use it for next time, you can. Next, I'm going to be making my Greek salad dressing. So I have my mason jar and we're gonna add all of the ingredients to the mason jar because it has a lid and it's easy to close and to shake up so that you can just pour from it. The first ingredient is one half cup of olive oil, one half cup of apple cider vinegar, one quarter cup of lemon juice, one tablespoon of minced garlic, one teaspoon of oregano, and then one half teaspoon each of salt, pepper, and ground mustard. And for this, we're going to be using sea salt. Next, we're going to add one teaspoon each of garlic, onion powder, and also basil. Garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, and one teaspoon of basil. And here's the finished product. So the final step that we're on to is prepping the salad ingredients to stuff the pita with. And one thing ingredient I'm using is Kalamata olives. I just have Kroger brand, but you can use whatever brand you want. And it's because it was the cheapest at the store. The next ingredient that I'm using is mild banana rings. And this is just classic, but again, you can feel free to use whatever you want. And I'm using feta cheese, which is Athenos brand, tomato and basil. And again, you can feel free to admit it or to use whatever you want. And the next thing that I prepared is all the vegetables. And I'm going to give you a shot of that. There you go. And here's a shot of my spinach. So we're ready to go. I have my hummus, I have my dressing, I have my lettuce, or I have my spinach, and I have my vegetables, and I have my pitas. And what I'm going to do is, as a diabetic, I can only have one half of a full pita, and then I can stuff the rest of it with ingredients. And I'm not actually going to put the hummus inside of the pita, I'm gonna put it on the side. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now I'm going to show you guys the assembly. So first I'm going to take a pita and I'm going to cut it in half. And you can start stuffing this with whatever you want. So I'm going to take a little bit of onion, which has some feta cheese on it. And I'm just gonna put that in there. And then I'm going to take some Kalamata olives. 
maybe two or three. And then some chopped tomato. I already have feta in there, so I mean, I can add it more if I want to, but I don't know if I want to. I'm going to add some banana pepper. And then a little bit of avocado. And I apologize if you can hear my washer going. And then there is my pita. And I might put just a little bit more feta on it. There we go with that. Oops, so I'll put that in there. Now I'm going to take some of my dressing. Take it. And then I'm going to spill it everywhere. Okay? Because that's what you want to do. Spill it everywhere. And I'm going to pour it on here and make a mess. And so there's my pita. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a side of hummus after I wash my hands. So again, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. I'm going to take my hummus. I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to take two tablespoons. And then there's a meal. I hope you guys have enjoyed the show. This is Keto in the Kitchen with Jasmine. And today what we made was Greek salad pitas with a side of hummus. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.